Hi there. Hi, Kathy. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you, Julie? Good. Hello to our viewers. Thanks for tuning into our channel. Yeah, welcome to Nurse Table Talk. So today, we don't have a very exciting subject to talk about today, but that's okay because it's good information. We, we want you guys just to suffer through it because we feel like it's really important. But today, we are going to talk about Urinary Tract Infections 101. Right. Right? right. So how fun is a that? A very glamorous topic. Very, very glamorous. Not. So we'll start with what is UTI? And a urinary tract infection is an effect, infection along someone's urinary pathway. So right. that could be bladder, kidneys, kidneys ureter, urethra. Right. Um, it happens, it could be from a multitude of different reasons of how right. people get a urinary tract infection. Right. But that's, that's kind of not what we're going to focus on today. What we're going to focus on is we're going to focus on how to identify those symptoms because right. they change when we get older. And right. that's what we need to give to you guys so that you can be aware of what you're actually experiencing and, and how to identify what could be a concern. So, right, Jules. and, and it, it's not age specific really, it's just no. that they're hard to recognize and a lot of times people may think they have the flu, but really yes. when it boils down to it, they found out they had a, a UTI. Yeah. So some of those symptoms, what would you yeah. say? I, I mean, mean, I mean, I'm talking like you got the achy back. Right fronts of thighs ache right uh people can have nausea and have right. a loss of appetite right um they the scariest i think of these is people will have ongoing and increasing confusion right that's a huge classic sign of yes it, confusion is big exclamation point exclamation point right. and have people start tripping they trip over their shoes lose they trip their over a rug they lose their balance um, right. They can't remember where they put their car keys and should they really even be driving at this right. point. Right. So the scary, the scary thing is, or the concerning thing is, is that for, for decades, you know, women especially have been taught burning on urination, right. frequency. Um, if you noticed um, your urine's pink or cola yeah, color. All that stuff, it right? It could be an indication that there could be blood in your urine. I yeah. mean, we're not doctors, but you it's, just want to keep an eye on. Yeah, if, it's, if things start feeling off, Yeah, they're, it's, they're, UTIs are really hard to recognize. Yeah, so you've got those classic symptoms that she right. just mentioned, and then right. you've got all the diffuse, fuzzy, weird things that don't really make sense, right. which is what I talked about. And People can get a, yeah. like a fever, or some people may get chills. Or not get any of that. Right. Um, so and, what? It, and so, again, a bad odor could be another indicator. Um, so one of the things, the reason that we find this to be such an important topic, and one that um, we really want to to really emphasize with our with our viewers, is that um, usually. What we see in our practices, unfortunately, is that people have those symptoms, right? They're, they're confused. Their mental health is fuzzy. They're not thinking well. Um, they're maybe very fatigued or they're sleeping a lot or they just feel crappy. Right. They feel like they have the flu. Right. And, then, and then they fall. They get up. They're weak. Yeah. And maybe they're in bed at night. They get up because they have to run yeah. to the bathroom. They don't realize how weak they are. They fall. They, they fall. fracture a hip. And then, and then boom, here we are. So in now the we, hospital with so a now fractured we, hip. Yeah. So now yeah. we have a fractured hip all caused from a stupid urinary tract infection. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that is one of those things that we really try to prevent with... Um, with our older loved ones and even, you know, in our age groups, because I'm in my 50s, so I'm, I still would consider myself to have to look at things this way versus how I did when I was 25, right? right so right. you can still do all the right things. You can still, um, you can still wipe front to back. Right. You can still change your underwear appropriately. You can still make sure that you're bathing frequently. adequately bathing and still yeah. get a UTI. You yeah. might have... You can do all those things yeah. and it still can sneak up and you Hormones, wouldn't even, everything wouldn't even changes. know it. Right. So what we would say is, is if you are attached to somebody that you love and they're demonstrating some of these symptoms or if you yourself... Right. are just not feeling yourself, you feel off some kind of way, right. the easiest way to, to cross this off the list of something that you don't have to be concerned about is to report your symptoms to your doctor. 
And, and take them a urine sample. Yeah, and ask them, can I get a urine sample done? Can you, they, they will take a little dipstick, right? And dip it in there. And after a couple of minutes of looking at that dipstick, if you're growing bugs, or if your body chemistry is changing because of the presence of bugs, it'll show up on that stick. And then, and then once they determine what infection, what is causing it, then mm -hmm. they may prescribe an antibiotic. Yep. And you take that for the recommended days, take and the in whole a few days thing. you should start yep. feeling better and getting back to yourself. Now, if you find too that you're um, having UTIs frequently, yeah, then let your doctor know that they may do something yeah. prophylactically or to preventive to mm -hmm. type treatment to help you keep those under control. Maybe they'll put you on a mild antibiotic for a period of time or something, but people that are prone to them, yeah. um, you know, yeah, it's it nothing, doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah, and it's nothing that somebody's doing or not doing. Right. It's, it's just the way our bodies change as we age. So we right. found this to be And we feel pretty young. We really wanted you guys <laughs> to have. So if you have questions, comments, concerns, um, let us know in the little comment box down below, and we hope that you got something out of this. Um, we can certainly attest to the fact that knowing this information will not only save you right. time and money, right. but it can definitely save you a hospital stay and a fractured hip and a bunch of other complications that you just don't want. Right, and being informed is key. So Absolutely. have a great day. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We'll bye see bye. you soon. Bye. Like the content you just watched? Hit the like button or hit subscribe here. If you want to be notified of any future videos, please ring that bell. If there's any topic you'd like to see discussed, leave us a comment in the comment section. Nurse Table Talk. Save time, save money, be informed. Thanks for watching.